What's up guys, welcome back to another video. If you're new to my channel, my name is Mattia. I'm a professional time lapse and I lapse photographer living in Madrid. And today I want to teach you a very quick method on how to remove a hot pixel from your Asta time lapse. Let's go! Hey guys, I hope you're doing well. So, I don't know if you ever noticed in your Asta time lapse, but if you're shooting during a warm night, especially a high ISO and with a long exposure, you will definitely see some colored and bright spot blinking in the dark area of the time lapse. Personally, I never experienced it as much when I was shooting in the UK. I think because the nights over there are quite cold and the hot pixels show up less during cold night. However, since I moved to Spain and started shooting Astro, around here during warm nights, I noticed a lot of hot pixels in my time lapse. So I did a bit of research and I found out a way to remove it. So let's move to the computer so I can show you how. Okay, so it is pretty easy. So go first of all to After Effects and open your clip. Now create your composition and on the, on the timeline create duplicate your layer. I'll show you why in, little, in a little bit. So now you can see if you zoom in, you can see some of pixels already, and like this one, this one, and this one show up uh, blinking during time lapse, which is quite annoying. So what we'll do now is go to the effect panel and search for dust and scratches, and we'll apply this uh, on the first layer. And then, if you let's see, just to show you more, if you go to radius, you just click two, and puff they are gone. Now, the problem is that uh, when you apply the dust and scratch effect, also the stars will uh, have uh, this effect. So as you can see, there is a lot of, uh, <laughs> you know, it basically blur everything. So what we do now with the, uh, on the first layer, you create a mask on the sky. So basically, this one, we, I got just a rough one just to show you. So this one basically, you will see the effect only on the dark um, frame uh, of the time lapse. And that's it. Now you have your time lapse free from off pixels. So I hope you enjoyed this short tutorial. If you have, please make sure to smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. And uh, if you want to learn more about uh, making time lapse and hyperlapse, check out my ebook uh, Mastering Time, where I put over 10 years of knowledge and making time lapse professionally. Okay, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao ciao!